If you are somebody who is looking to simplify down their goal swing with an all-in-one drill, then you're in the right place. Because today I'm gonna to show you how a simple table tennis racket is gonna transform your goal swing. So how is this table tennis racket going to help you with your golf game? Well, first of all, it's gonna teach you club face control. It's gonna teach you how to use your wrists and it's gonna teach you how to deliver sharply. We all know the importance of the takeaway. It's the start of our goal swing. Here's how the table tennis racket is gonna simplify down this move. What I want you to do is grip it like a golf club. Now from there, you've got the red side and the black side. I want you to point one of the sides, doesn't matter, towards the target. I'm gonna go red side towards the target. Now, from here, in the takeaway, I want you to feel like you can make a movement where you feel like you keep the red side pointing down to the ground. Now, as you do this, I just want you just to gently feel like you start to load the trail wrist. And what do I mean by loading the trail wrist? Just simply setting it back on itself right here. So you can see, little bit of wrist set with the back of the right wrist and from there you can see the club face is pointing down to the ground. By simply doing this movement right here, you can see how it's getting that left wrist in a flat position. Now, stage two that I want you to do is simply grab this table tennis racket and place it on the side of the grip where your trail hand would be. Now from there, just do a little takeaway movement and try and recreate the same feeling. Try and get that red side pointing slightly down to the ground. If you see it point to the sky, you know you have found that club face open. So just a little bit of movement there and you can see red side is pointing down to the ground, Right wrist has started to load, left wrist is flat, and the club face is in an awesome position. So once you've done that, now we can start to progress to the top of the backswing. And again, let's get rid of the club to start with. So take your golf grip, red side pointing towards the target. We've done our good takeaway position now. I want you to continue to turn your body to the top and feel like you are continually setting that trail wrist back. The way that we're gonna check to make sure we've done this right is by the time we get to the top of the backswing, I wanna see that this red pad is pointing slightly to the sky. If the red pad is pointing at me, you can see how the lead wrist is cupped and that'll be replicating an open club face position. Now, let me grab the club, place it back on the side, and again, let's go through this same movement. Good takeaway, now to the top, continue that movement, red pads pointing to the sky, left wrist is actually slightly bowed there, I've really loaded the trail wrist, and now from this position I'm in a great spot to where I can start down. So now it's time for the transition, and by far the most common issue I see amateurs struggle with is they get steep and their lead wrist cups, which opens the club face on the way down. From there, you've got no choice but to early extend and cast out all your angles. So here's how a table tennis racket is gonna fix this. Turn to the top of the backswing, and from from here, I want you to feel like you twist this racket so that the red pad will point towards this down the line camera. Now, as I'm doing this, I can really start to feel the left wrist start to bow and the trail wrist start to set back on itself. And if I can do this correctly, is going to allow me to shallow the club, is going to allow me to get the club on plane and control the club face. So if I now do phase two, where I place it on the side, watch what happens. If I do a bad one, where it points towards me or sort of points out in front of me in this direction, club face is open. If I get the red side pointing towards the down the line view camera, you can see club face is closing down, shaft is shallowing, and now I am in a prime position to get into an awesome impact position. So how is the table tennis racket going to allow us to get into a great impact position? Well, a lot of the work is already done. Remember, the impact position is very much a reaction to what we've done before. But if I grab the table tennis racket like we've done before, get into this awesome delivery position here. Now, what I want you to do is feel like as you start to rotate open, you can keep this red pad pointing forwards of the golf ball. What's one of the most common issues we see? That scooping, that early release. So if the club face is open, you're gonna to wanna to scoop early release. You can see this pad's pointing upwards to the sky. I wanna be feeling like as I come down, I can continue to rotate, 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 get that pad pointing down and forwards. Now phase two, place it on the side of the grip. Again, we're in a great delivery position here. Let's continue, 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 continue. You can see that's delivering sharply, awesome position. I now shuffle inside. I continue to turn all the way through. Now here's the fantastic thing about this, we can actually hit little shots doing this, just like so. If I set up here, now the final thing left to do is to piece everything together. So good takeaway, good top of backswing, good transition, good impact into the follow through. For phase two, place the racket on the side of the grip, takeaway, top of backswing, transition, impact, follow through. And after that, it's then time to recreate those feelings whilst hitting a goal shot.